it's pretty tough to, to trust Matt Wolf right now just with the form that he's showing. Look, he popped at the U.S. Open, and I do think that this is a player who you're going to see kind of get back to at least a little bit of consistency. Some of those like high end finishes that we saw so often in the in the like the late summer and the fall of 2020. But I mean, there was no follow up at the Travelers last week. Opened with like a six over opening round to, and, and missed the cut again. So um, Wolf still clearly struggling with all aspects of his game. Could he get hot on the greens here again like he did last year? Yeah, he could. And it is a driver heavy course. So you like that. But I can't really trust him at 9,100. This 9K range is, you know, it, it, it's full of not like great options. I think Jason Kokrak will be popular. I would rather go up to Joaquin Neiman. I mean, this is a player who finished T5 here uh, on debut in 2019. And he's been still consistent with the irons. You know, the, the putter has been all over the place. But I just think that this is a very quality young player. And you look at the quality of this field, you know, we're definitely getting a dip here just in terms of how many elite players there are. I think Neiman will come in here and, and he's still hitting the ball pretty well. And, and I think you'll look at this as an opportunity to kind of get his game on track here. So I really like Joaquin Neiman at 9,800. He's a little bit expensive, but again, you're getting a very, very quality young player in a field that, you know, just isn't that deep. And I think 9,800 is still a very fair price for him this week.